Well, as y'all can hear and maybe see, I'm not sure how uh, well it's picking it up, but we've got a storm front blowing in. Not from the west, northwest or southwest, as would be the norm. But once again, on this evening, on Wednesday, the 15th of June, we have another one blowing in from the east. For us, that is exceptionally rare. When I mean rare, maybe once or twice a year, at the very most, many years never. And of course, when it does, it seems to be what we're seeing here. Strong winds, extreme lightning, and as you can hear, the thunder. And we just got finished from picking up sticks from last evening, which I might add, if you've watched the previous video, you'll know it started to rain. And we said we would walk and dodge the raindrops. Well, that's exactly what we did yesterday evening as the sun set. It really never rained more than enough just to settle the dust. As of yet, we've only got a drop or two out of this pending storm. We've gotten the wind, which I am thinking probably has gusted as high as maybe 35, 40 mile an hour. You know, nothing unusual for the deep south. It looks scarier than what it actually is unless you're underneath the tree branch that bumps you on your noggin. And it just shocks me to come out some mornings after storms like these and see branches down from the oaks. Because all of you know who've been here a while, we paid a lot of money to have those oaks trimmed up and all the dead taken out of them. That doesn't mean other things won't break out. Spooky, I don't even think we can see you, buddy. We can just see black. Yep. No GoPro don't pick up a lot in the low light. <laughs> it's not its thing. So all you may be seeing is a black screen with some flashes of light in front of you as I'm seeing as well Woo. well I thought it might be interesting for those of you in other areas of this world to see what a thunderstorm looks like coming in as the sun is set. You can hear it. It's angry. And it's letting us know it's marching our way. millions stand in its path I'm sure all hoping and praying it passes us by with nothing more than brisk winds and gentle rain well power just blinked out maybe for five seconds that's number one and the way it normally works around here in my little piece of paradise is if it blinks one it comes right back on no big deal if it goes right back out a second time normally it comes right back on but if it goes out that third time it's gone for good 
until the power company comes out to see what the problem. And I'm going to tell you what, that last gust that just came by, uh, that was over 35 because <laughs> it, it liked to put me on the ground. Not sure how that'll hear or listen to on the video. Because we're out here right beside the highway looking out across to the northeast. Probably not 30 yards from the bamboo forest, which I'm sure you can't see. <laughs> Even here, where we're used to storms of this nature, people get antsy. They get nervous. And you get more so as you age. And it's not that I'm scared of anything of man or nature, even though I should be. Yeah. As you get older, you got to consider we don't bounce as good as we once did. No, we don't. This is a slow mover too. It's just starting to drop drops on me. A little more often than the rare one it was just a moment or two ago. The motion lights have come on. I already see a limb down on the back side of the property. And those are big raindrops. Well, I got my ever Faithful, old buddy, spooky, don't know if you can see him. And I got Mr. Gray here, not sure if you can see him either. Yeah, they got my back. I thought last night was unusual with a storm front coming in from the east. And now, once again, we got another it's starting to become a pattern and yeah i've been talking and i've been wondering weird weather and even though i don't like to admit it even i now have got to things are not the same as they once were in all the years that i've lived here in the deep south of Alabama. And yet I still cannot put my finger onto the reason why. For many, it becomes easy. There comes another gust. Woo! That'll about blow you off your feet. <laughs> Woo! And that wind is ice cold when that happens. And that makes sense because it's coming from high up in the thunderheads and as that front moves forward that air dumps off the top of those thunderheads plummets straight down till it hits the ground and comes out in front of that storm straight line winds in some areas of the country they call it a derecho you know like out in Iowa Kansas, Illinois, and places up north and further west. We never had a name for it to what happened to Iowa back a couple years back. And now we just can't shake it. But prior to those straight line winds devastating about a hundred mile wide stretch all the way through Iowa and Illinois. You didn't hear much about a derecho. Now, you hear about them more often. Now, I don't know whether it's just because we came up with a name or just happens more often. 
But I don't know how you feel about these storms that come in the darkness of the night. When you're a child, they're frightening. And then as you age, I guess you get normalized to them. You know, if you get through them without damage or injury. But if you ever are hit by one, property destroyed, loved ones lost, you'll never take them for granted ever again. No, or do I. It's like the old saying goes, been there, done, done that. One or two times, too many. And it's still way off. The rain's starting to increase. I'm thinking we're going to see more precipitation, as the old meteorologists call it. And this storm, then we did the one last night, which, like I say, barely settled the dust. Yep, we're getting damp. <laughs> And the kitty crews have went for cover. So hey y'all. Oh Mr. Tom out here reporting in the middle of it. Easterly storm coming our way. Rain coming down now, rather heavy. Until we see y'all on the next video. Y'all take care. Stay safe out there. May God bless you as you bless others. Hey, stay dry. Stay cool. Goodbye for now. Whoa. Woo. Spooky. We got to get under cover. I see Speedy. They took off Mr. Gray for the bunker. Magoo. Cleo. Yep. You here with me, aren't you, buddy? Well, I'm not sure I can see you. Can't see you on the screen. Nope. But I appreciate you guys. You always got my back. Well, that rain coming down pretty good now. We're going to get some out of this. Huh. Well, something broke out in the distance to the north. Probably a tree. And we don't need that wind, but we sorely need the rain. Of course, currently, it's going horizontal. Yeah. I wish you could see it, but I doubt you can. So well, I'm getting in. I'm getting dried off. Stay safe, y'all. Later. Well, the storm passed us by and drifted off westward, well, southwestern, into the darkness of the night. And by probably 11 or so, it was all quiet once again, and we received no major damage. A few small limbs were torn from the trees, many leaves. The garden plantings, we've already walked them, they all look fine. But we were blessed with something we sorely needed. And that was just under a half an inch of rain. A true blessing from the storm. But this will at least keep us from watering this morning. As we've been doing now. Since we put it all in. So for now. A morning of rest. But there's plenty more to do. You can hear the birds in the background. They're just as happy as I am. And of course, the kitty crew. So, we're gonna get ready to start our day. The only thing we're gonna skip is the morning watering. Oh, so time to get in and get cleaned up a little. And get on with it. Now, as you can see, 
they all came through it fine yep there's the kitty crew cleo spooky speedy mr gray and of course the magoo <laughs> they all made it through of course you might have saw spooky there stayed with me all the way through and mr gray almost did no <laughs> you bailed on me didn't you buddy so y'all friends and family till we see you again on the next video y'all take care stay safe and may god bless you as you bless others goodbye for now okay guys since papa ain't gonna be toting water I'm watering this morning and i've got other things to do one of which is uh get cleaned up for the day so hey let me uh make it through here it's, it's sort of like a kitty maze yep and i'm sure gracie and lily bit are waiting on me later all <laughs>